Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. He expressed his support for the historic step taken by Bahrain under His Majesty the King's leadership to achieve just and comprehensive peace in the Middle East through the establishment of diplomatic relations with Israel. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak affirmed that the Kingdom had taken such a successful decision out of its belief in the establishment of just and comprehensive peace in the Arab region while remaining committed to the basic Arab fundamentals fundamentals and its policy based on backing the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. He pointed out that the initiative embodies His Majesty's strong belief in the importance of dialogue, openness and coexistence among people, which is a deep-rooted approach of which Bahrain has always been known throughout its history and civilization. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable from Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, where His Highness wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness, and affirmed to His Majesty that announcing the establishment of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Israel is a sovereign measure and represents a courageous position that reflects the wisdom of His Majesty to achieve a more secure and stable future for all the people of the region. His Highness expressed his support for the historic step which will contribute in enhancing safety and security in the region and will serve the supreme interests of Bahrain internally and externally and in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa where he expressed his full support towards the Kingdom's decision to form diplomatic relations with Israel. He affirmed that this is a historic and courageous step that is based on tolerance and dialogue with the aim of achieving security and peace in the region as well as overcome all challenges. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah wished His Majesty lasting good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable from the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, where he congratulated His Majesty on the wise and courageous steps in the peace agreement with Israel, which will have positive security and economic and social repercussions for Bahrain and the region. The Minister affirmed that His Majesty's decision has strengthened the pos position of Bahrain in the ranks of civilized and developed countries, as His Majesty has always been a supporter of freedom, tolerance and coexistence. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the third consecutive victory made by Paris FC team in the French League Division 2 under the theme Victorious Bahrain. He noted that the team, in which Bahrain owns a share, receives tremendous supports from the administration of the club, which provides all the team's needs. His Highness affirmed that those who follow up on the team's performance during the league will notice its progress in each round, which proves that the team has many remarkable potentials that they will further demonstrate in the coming rounds, and His Highness wished the team further success. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the winners of Your Talent at Home competition. His Highness said that the launch of the competition resulted from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to embrace Bahraini youth through initiatives that will create a suitable atmosphere for them to show their energies and talents in various life areas. He added that the competition was held in support of the efforts made by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and according to the precautionary measures and social distancing during the pandemic. He also praised the efforts made by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop a strategy that includes plans and programs to raise Bahraini youth competence level. His Highness expressed pride in the Bahraini youth for their creativity and stressed that the competition supports this strategy by pushing youth to participate, interact and develop their capabilities with the aim of creating a generation that is capable of building and developing various fields in Bahrain. He also expressed appreciation to the great efforts made by the Ministry of Information headed by Minister Ali Rumehi by devoting the best media capabilities and allocating a special studio to contribute to their program's success.
The Minister of Information Ali Ramihi visited the final stage of the Your Talent at Home competition, where he commended the special attention and care provided by His Highness Sheikh Khalid to young Bahrainis through successful initiatives. Ramihi said the initiative was a great opportunity for Bahraini youth to use their talents, enhance their aptitudes, strengthen their self-confidence and enhance their creative capabilities in a way that empowers them to contribute to improving the society. He added that the information ministry is keen to harness all potentials to ensure the success of the competition and all initiatives by His Highness Sheikh Khalid. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Zia Zainal received the Swiss Honorary Council General to Bahrain, Humber Vincent Boimi. Zainal stressed that the declaration to support peace is a sovereign decision and a historic step aimed at supporting peace efforts in the region. She added that the courageous step taken by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is in line with Bahrain's approach of openness and coexistence and keenness to achieve security, stability, progress and prosperity. The Speaker praised the distinguished efforts exerted by the Swiss Honorary Council to enhance relations between the two countries and their friendly people, citing his major contributions to opening up new horizons of joint cooperation in the fields of comprehensive development, particularly the economic, trade and investment. She stated that she was looking forward to more parliamentary cooperation in order to boost joint relations across various fields to serve common interests. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, said that Bahrain's step, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, reflect the kingdom's firm commitment to peace as a strategic option aimed to consolidate regional stability and boost international cooperation. In a press statement, he said that the announcement of the peace move between Palestine and Israel represents a bold and historic breakthrough which would usher in promising and economic dividends and bolster peace, being the cornerstone of sustainable development. He stressed Bahrain's keenness on setting up vital projects that meet the aspirations for a better future for Bahrain and people. He underlined the ability of the national economy to continue the growth momentum under all circumstances, which turned Bahrain into a fertile business hub for vital investment projects. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, stressed the importance of establishing peace in the Middle East and supporting peace with Israel. In a statement, the Minister praised a courageous step undertaken by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, describing the historic breakthrough as a major catalyst for peace in the region. He held a peace move which would contribute to opening up wider horizons for commerce with more leading firms in the world, world and bolstering stability, security and prosperity in the region. He noted that the announcement of the peace move with Israel has made the trading sector optimistic about the prospect of industrial, technological and tourism cooperation, adding that the breakthrough would boost investment opportunities. A number of countries have welcomed the tripartite statement, which included establishing full diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Israel. Oman welcomed the initiative taken by Bahrain within its sovereign rights and the tripartite joint declaration on relations with Israel. In a statement, Oman expressed hope that this new strategic direction chosen by some Arab countries would lead towards achieving peace and stability in the Middle East. The European Union also welcomed the announced establishment of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Israel. The EU High Representative said that these developments represent a positive contribution to peace and stability in the Middle East. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson has warmly welcomed the decision as well and expressed hope that others will follow to help secure a more peaceful Middle East. Foreign Secretary and First Secretary of State Dominic Raab also warmly welcomed the decision. The Minister for Middle East and North Africa in the region, Commonwealth and Development Office, James Cleverly, also affirmed that the UK will support these steps towards peace in the Middle East. German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas said that the establishment of diplomatic relations between Israel and Bahrain is another important step towards a peace in the region. He expressed confidence that this agreement will give new impetus to the peace process between Israel and the Palestinians. The Canadian Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the decision as well, and the Canadian Foreign Ministry said that it is a positive and important step towards strengthening the foundations of stability and peace in the Middle East. Senior U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham stressed that this agreement puts the Middle East on a new path of cooperation and integration. 
Australia also welcomed the historic announcement by Bahrain and Israel to establish diplomatic relations. The foreign minister and minister of women said that it is a courageous step fo forward for peace and security in the Middle East. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,183 with 416 recoveries, 747 registered new cases and one death. 109 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 633 are contacts of active cases and 5 are travel related. The deceased was a 64-year-old male citizen and the Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.